Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project and Magnetic Reversal News, bringing you a Grand Solar Minimum update Saturday, November 2nd, 1230 a.m. Mountain Time, 2019. The GFS models are showing Southern Texas snow November 15th. That could be a record. Quarter of a million people are without power in the Northeast. Keep calm. It's boom time. Colorado ski areas open early after record October snow totals. Arapahoe Basin ski area sustainability manager Mike Nathan talks about the steps taken to operate in a more sustainable way. With all the snow October has brought to the front range, early season skiers are starting to check in to see how Colorado ski areas are doing. Well, they're doing quite fine with October bringing record snowfall in several resorts recording the earliest openings in decades. Here are the scheduled opening dates earliest in decades. Hello! October snow sets records in eastern Iowa. Cedar Rapids, snow fell way too early in eastern Iowa this year, and a lot of snow at that. The amount of snow did set records for the month across eastern Iowa. Dubuque, 9.2 inches, new record doubling, crushing by over doubling the old record. Cedar Rapids, 6.8, very close. Second snowiest in Iowa City, beating the old record by an inch. Hello. And they are not ready in that city. Chicago had a rare first snowfall in October and the snowiest Halloween in history. The end of October saw low temps, record snows, high winds, and not a single peak from Al Gore. Could remarkably snowy October offer clues to upcoming winter snowfall? Hmm. October 2019 was truly a remarkable month, one that started out with back-to-back -back days in the 80s, only to finish with record snowfall on Halloween. With the new book now closed on the month, it goes in the books as the second snowiest October in record history, with 4.2 inches of snowfall recorded at Chicago Rockford International Airport. Beating out, uh, coming in second to the October 20. 1929 snowfall department. Anyway, it was hard to say that. But it's looking remarkably snowy. Record snowfall hits parts of the Midwest as snowstorm strikes the East Coast, bringing outages and down trees. Looks like a nightmare. Especially if you're in a Mini Cooper. A classic strong fall storm is moving through the Northeast U.S. morning. A classic strong fall storm. That would mean that it is like the past. In the past. Not some new global warming future. This is indicative of the past. When it was snowier. The same, the same storm that brought snow to the Midwest on Halloween. As well as severe storms along its cold front on Thursday afternoon. Evening across the eastern U.S. Mini Cooper much. Chicago saw a high of 35 degrees on Thursday, making it the third coldest Halloween high since 1871 and the coldest Halloween since 1917. Chicago also set a new record for Halloween with snowfall receiving 3.4 inches, which they received in cinches because Al Gore was missing. Power outage U.S. Over a quarter of a million people without power. Currently 77,000 in New York State. 87,000 in Maine. It's insane. 31,000 in Vermont, 25,000 in PA, 14,000 in Connecticut for a total of a shit ton, which is just below a fuck ton. I can't say that this early. One dead, others sickened after eating tainted beef. No common brand or supplier has been identified, so all of your ground beef is suspect. Holy shit. Wolf Creek Ski will open Thursday. Yes. Look at that! Thursday, October 31st, Wolf Creek opened the Nova Lift and Magic Carpet from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. with a less than half price ticket because you're only scraping rocks at this point on two trails or so. TikTok video app reportedly under review as national security threat. No idea what that means. Should have never been there. 
Florida teen charged with trying to hire Hitman to hire high school staffer. I didn't vet these. Southern California utility says wildfire started near a re-energized power line. Man, it's like one bad movie after another. Idiocracy much. October was a historic weather month. We know this. Up in Montana, they had a historic cold and snow. First snow of the season hits northeast Ohio. There wasn't much to Thursday night snow, but it could serve as a harbinger of things to come. Well, they're the things that are coming. Many of you are bumming. But the northern tier will be get light snow moving through. And that Texas snow. That's just crazy. That's supposed to hit the ground in that southern tip of Texas on November 14th. Look at that. Boom! And then North Texas gets the nexus with the Schmexus on the 18th. Total snow mass for the northern hemisphere is in record territory, peaking a month earlier than normal, which leads to a decline in sea ice thickness, which is lagging a month behind. But also, we're in a pattern where the ice has moved with the magnetic pole. So as the pole moves right towards here, the ice is going to be concentrated in this region and is pulling away from the typical areas here in Alaska, which are warming because of the heat budget of the Pacific. So it takes a little bit longer for the ice to form over this deep ocean. But as you can see, it is now quickly peaking upwards in standard multi-decadal norms. And by December, we'll be above the baseline. You wait and see how thick this ice gets. It will be mind-boggling, as well as the total snow math for the Northern Hemisphere. Mind-boggling. Central England experiences historically chilly October. The UK's October 2019 surely felt like a chilly one, but now official Met Office temperature data has confirmed it. Central England just experienced a month on par with those of the mid to late 1600s. Holy shit, is it really that crazy? UK weather met officers issued danger to life warning as flying debris and floods set to batter Britain. We might have enjoyed some sunny weather over the past few days, but all this is about to change. The met officers were warned of danger to life, flooding tomorrow, predicting a whopping two weeks worth of rain. A yellow warning for wind will be in place from 4 a.m. until 4 p.m. and covers most of the fluxed region of southern England and southwest, as well as winds up to 80 miles per hour. There's also expected 60 millimeters of rain with the warning in place from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. tomorrow, as flying debris and other floods set to batter Britain. Did I do a good job, Mummy? We like get the cake. Now, we haven't uploaded this and it will take hours, literally, for this type of data to upload for you to even see. But as you can see, it will be snowing in many regions, just not in the UK. Not on these models. Not in the next 30 hours, and that's all we got. Seismic update, no quakes of note. We had a major banger in Masha. Nicaragua, yes, Nicaragua rocking it up with a 5.3 at 50 kilometers. And you've been psychic, yes. <sighs> you've been psychic for 12 hours. which means the solar minimum is still here and still deepening. What makes the Earth's surface move? Well, do tectonic plates move because of motion in the Earth's mantle 
or is it the mantle driven by the movement of the plates? Or could it be that the question is ill-posed? This is the point of view adopted by scientists at the École Normale Supérieure PSL, the University of Rome 3. I've never heard of Rome 2 or 1, but 3 is amazing. Who regard the plates and the mantle as belonging to a single system, as I do, and many others, that are catastrophists. Now, us catastrophists, we believe that these events that form mountain chains happen in just days or even weeks, quickly, due to perturbations in the internal spin and blippity blobbity blue of other things, which we won't get into now. But if crustal slip is a hypothesis, there are investigators out there like Mario Buildup Reps who have shown that the position of the northern rotational pole has shifted from the southern tip of Greenland to its current position over the last 300,000 years. All of the pole positions of the rotational axis have remained in a very similar place. So the crust only slips locally in small amounts and probably causes mountain ranges to thrust up. But we're just delving into the actual information because we were so indoctrinated for decades, even in academia, as I was as a teacher, as a geologist, we had no free board to go and actually explore the data and maybe rework some of the oldest fuddy-duddy hypotheses around. And we're, it's coming clearer that what makes the Earth's surface move is much different than you've been led to believe. Now, good news, geologists testing water from New Hawaii Volcano Crater Lake. Now, these guys, the Hawaii Tribune Herald reports Wednesday that scientists with the USGS Survey and Hawaii Volcano Observatory used a drone to collect water samples from the growing lake in the Kilauea's volcano crater, which will lead to huge and massive phreatic eruptions in the near future. Worldwide Volcano News Update, Sabankaya puffing to damn near five miles. Four plus at 23,000 feet. Nevados de Chilan, no quakes of note. Just normal stuff, kids. Don't get your panties in a bunch. Go outside and do stuff. I did. I'm exhausted. I just walked like 11 miles with Rex Bear and Allen. We didn't find a single thing. But we're about to take the uh, private guided tour. And our private guide is going to take us to some secret areas. Which we will share with you. 13 meters showers in the night sky of November. With major Leonids peaking. <laughs> Are you peaking on November 18th with the Leonids? I hope so. U.S. Air Force Space Plane X-37B lands after a baffling 780 days in orbit. <laughs> wow. Does that mean the elites get to stay up there for a long time while we all die? Probably. Mesa Prieta Petroglyph Project. That's where we were. Come read about it. Make a donation. Don't be such a cheap prick. Buy a book. Learn something. And if you just are a cheap prick and want to survive and thrive, well, share your wealth with the channel. Check out our preparedness store where you can find absolutely everything you need. If you can't find it and you know how to email, email oppenheimerranch at gmail.com. And we'll put it in the store if it's not there. Grand Solar Minimum Preparedness Library. Water filtration. Life straws. Structured water. Survival supplements. Survive and thrive. Solar systems, solar panels, solar pumps, solar lighting. You get the picture. Solar generators. How about permaculture necessities? If you need shungite, we got it. Just keep looking. It's in there. Like swimmer. No, for real. Shungite is in the store. Just check out every single area. And you know where it probably is? I have no idea where it is. <laughs> It's in survival essentials. No. 
It's in water filtration. Who knew? Who knew? I don't know. I don't know where it is, but it's in here. Let's check out survival essentials. Bear with us. We're working this out together. No, this is just a bunch of cool stoves and knives and stuff where you can stab people and totally live in an awesome tent. Hope you got something out of the video. It's boom time. Thank you to all of our spontaneous five new Patreons in two days. And those of you that have downgraded, we love you. Times are tough. Do what you can. We support you. We love each and every one of you. Share this video. The most important thing you can do is share this video on your social media platforms. Nothing else matters. Well, we hope you survive and thrive in the future with us. You learn how to grow food and you opt out of that nightmare called the empire. Cash in your 401k because the grid is about to cash you out.